Once upon a time, there was a very greedy and fat king who dreamed of getting a hold of all the food in his kingdom. The greedy king spent days dreaming of a way he could get his hands on all this food. Each time he went to the market, he would think of different ways he could steal the poor peasants' food, goods, and harvests. The king thought he was entitled to everything in the village. After all, he did build the peasants a great wall to keep them safe. And then it struck him. He would tax, tax each villager one-tenth of their food, goods, and harvests, and thus the ratio was born. The king defined a ratio as a comparison of two numbers by division. By the king's definition, a ratio is much like a fraction. Now the king and his mathematician were faced with the task of figuring out how much of each person's possessions he was entitled to. He looked to his loyal mathematician to figure out what of all things he was entitled to. The king and his mathematician defined a proportion as an equation stating two ratios are equivalent. This is a lot like equivalent fractions. But wait, someone has to tell the king what an equation is. The king's mathematician decided that an equation can be defined as two algebraic expressions, mathematical statements using at least one of the following, numbers, variables, operations, or grouping symbols, balanced by an equal sign. The king asked his mathematician how to solve proportions so that he knows how much of each person's possessions he can take. The king's mathematician explained to him that a proportion could be solved using a cross product. They tell him that a cross product is multiplication of the opposite numerators and denominators of a proportion. The king's brightest mathematician told him about a property he invented to solve proportions. This property was called the means extremes property of proportions. The property said that in a proportion, the product of the extremes is equal to the means. If A over B equals C over D, then AD equals BC. The cross products AD and BC in the proportions are equal, where A and D are extremes and B and C are the means. The king was so happy with his results and all of his new food that he told all of his other king friends about it, and we still use these ideas today. So that is where ratios and proportions came from, and the king and his friends lived happily ever after.